Hey guys, good day. Previously, we were able to integrate the file upload image upload feature in our product module. In this video, we are going to view or pull the list of products from our database and then display it inside the system or inside the ad in our IMS. So in our inventory we have these products and we are going to pull this and display it inside this section the view product page so as you can see here the product view and currently instead of the product it's pulling uh, the users data so now let's update the product view.php and as you can see here view let's update some section so the list of users we have this users variable and also these are um, previous files so let's just clean this up then here let's refresh and then let's just open the console for possible javascript error just remove this one so we can remove this section here so instead of the users we'll go list of products and then here we have the different fields first name last name email so here let's just look at the properties set in our database so we'll have the product name description and the created by so created at updated at and then we have the action which is for updating editing the product so now let's move the created by I mean the image of uh, the TV is created by created at updated at uh, description image and then here let's make it second column then here we refresh you can see we have updated the headers as you can see here we are pulling from the users table so, so instead of the users table we are going to pull it from the products so as you can see here we have show users which is a script for pulling the products or the users data so same let's just create the same script that we can use for both showing or pulling the data regardless of the table name so let's create a new file let's add it show that PHP and inside let's just copy this file and then 
let's move them here oh let's just update and show tabs um so you show php here we need this table to be dynamic so we can use the session to make or update which table are we going to pull the data so here let's just as you can see in our product view we already set our other this script we have a table name and then you set the product so the table name here is product so it should be products and then here so the user do we need the user so, so I think we don't need the session users then here we have the include the script so our script is now show.php and then let's button the session variable then refresh as you can see here we have the table products we update this one should also update the variable so that's right show that php so now let's set the table in then here session that name of the key table so if we bottom the table name they should return products then here we'll just need to set the table name as you can see here we have an error uh, modified index email last name first name since they don't exist yet I mean this index or our keys belongs to the users table so if we part of the products so here there should be a products variable as you can see here we have different products data product name description image created by created at and updated at so now if we go to the products section of the page um let's update the data here products the index and then set it to product so now here so the first column is the product and then the image link and then here next is the product name so if we refresh then here let's just copy and created by so as you can see here it returns an ID so for now let's just use the integer so I'll work on pulling the 
um, name the actual name of the user so we have the created that created by and then we have the buttons so instead of user we'll just create the or use product then also here I'll just delete this data since we don't need them for now if we refresh as you can see the image here um, users so this should be products so nine users but these are not users but these are products so so I think we need that user so I guess I think that user we need to add it here so that was a mistake removing it user if we refresh and it should fix the problem now here as you can see we are able to display the products so as you can see this image here we should display an image instead of the text so here in our product view let's go to so let's update this one so instead of the text let's use the image tag and then here let's echo the file and if we refresh as you can see here we have an error um, for of or not bound so we need to set the correct directory so if you remember we upload it in uploads and products and then the file and so if we refresh as you can see here it returns the image of the product so for now let's just remove all delete these products refresh or zero products see let's add a product uh, Quant, so this is a product one choose file um, let's select this one um, product 2 this is product 2 then we choose the file product 3 this is product 3 then image product product 4 this is product 4 and we upload the last image so now if we view the products you can see here we have now list of the products So let's just make this one let's add a class on these images make them more beautiful we add the width and height so product images so if we go to custom.css Let's set the width 
to maybe 100 px hide the 100 px refresh so let's go to our product images let's remove this one refresh as you can see here they are looking beautiful so in the next video we're going to create the edit and then the delete feature of the product module so stay tuned